Each quilt from one Glen Allen sewing group. In this week's Acts of Kindness, Ashley Hendricks introduces us to one volunteer weaving kindness into the community. Sunday mornings are for praise and worship here at the Glen Allen Church of Christ. But during the week, the service moves to the basement. They were doing a project for quilts to go over uh, seas. And I asked why, if we could do it more often. So we started uh, coming in on one Thursday a month and then we, the ladies asked if we could come in every Thursday. One stitch at a time, loose fabric is woven into something special. And who better to lead the way than Jim Otto? This is the donation that just came in. He emails everyone and he sets up the tables and chairs and sewing machines. Everything is here. That's what every Thursday has looked like for the retired Richmond police officer for the past 17 years. Thank you. With goodness in their hearts and a needle in hand, these stitchers have sewn over 9,000 quilts. You see this football quilt? For those in need of a little extra love. A lot of them go to St. Saint Mary's Pediatric Ward. Um, there's a hospital in Norfolk that takes children's quilts to up to teenagers from toddlers to teenagers. What they do is they take the quilt and they put it on the bed before the child goes back there. And then when the child goes back, the child will ask, what is that? And they says, that's for you. And it's going home when you get better. A small gesture of hope filling the hearts of so many across the country. And there's a lot of need out there. And their mission stretches beyond borders to those affected by the war in Ukraine. But we've also made 6,000 wheelchair bags, wheelchair walker bags, uh, 2,000 capes, 2,000 pillowcases, 600 dog beds from the scraps that go to the animal shelters. In some of life's sharpest pains, Jim learned lessons that has carried him through. In my youth, I spent a few years uh, in the Richmond Home for Boys. It's now the Richmond Home for Boys and Girls on Broad Street. And we were taught that you can't do for those people who do for you you do for others. It's this lesson that became a lifestyle for Jim, becoming an inspiration for other volunteers like Martha Faber. You have been nominated for Acts of Kindness and Channel 12 is giving you $300. Whoa. And a gift card, $50 gift card to Mexico restaurant. That's the best. That's for all that you do. Very good. That was, you did well deserved, Jim. Quite yes. a surprise. <laughs> yes. I really, really appreciate it. You know, that we will make sure that the kids benefit from it, you know, and we're Good. just glad that we can do what we can do. We, we, we it, I don't know, I got a picture the other day with the little boy who got his quilt and his eyes were about that big around, you know, and the little boy's got cancer. Yeah. You know, if we can bring a smile to any child's face or any adult, any of these uh, World War II veterans, we're just grateful for what we can do. Bringing warmth to a sometimes cold world. The thing is, everybody just try to help one person. Just help one person, you know, just how much a better world it would really be. On your side, Ashley Hendricks, NBC 12. Job well done, Jim.